please welcome Elisa Pugliesi. So the video clips that you just watched all have two things in common. They star Emmy and Peabody award-winning actor Keegan-Michael Key, and they were all, for the most part, created, written, and directed by a woman, me. Um, <laughs> now, as many of you know, most producers, along with most directors, and most screenwriters are men. And as a woman wearing all three of those hats, I've certainly had some challenges. Uh, I've pitched TV shows to, exec, to execs who will credit any man in the room near me for the ideas that I have just shared. I've been on films where I wasn't invited to a cast and crew dinner because, and this is a direct quote, nobody else was bringing their wives. Um, and I've... <laughs> And I've been warned to keep my mouth shut on set when the, I noticed that the male director happened to be using the wrong car in the scene. And after 20 years of working for mostly men who aren't always giving me the credit or respect that I deserved, I decided that going forward, I should work for and give advice to people who not only want it but appreciate it and realized the simplest way to do that would be to write and direct for myself. So I put out... <laughs> So I put out to the entertainment world that I was looking for a project to direct, and you probably would not be uh, surprised what happened next. Without, without exception, every single project that was sent to me was a relationship drama or a romantic comedy. It's weird, right? Um, not that there's anything wrong with those genres or those projects, it just wasn't what I wanted to be doing as a director. Instead, I tracked down an undercover cop in New York who worked with the DEA, and he told me some pretty amazing stories. One of them inspired me to write. And as I went along, I was very aware that there are very few, if no popular cop, drug, dealer, mob movies that are actually written by women. So I decided to embrace my role as a professional problem solver and decided the only way that I could get around or overcome that stigma was by telling people that the script wasn't written by me. It was written by someone named Frank Saladino. <laughs> so, Frank, a name I made up, happened to be inspired by a friend of my dad's, um, and I became partners on this journey. And Frank Saladino inspired me to write anything that I wanted in as strong a voice as I wanted, and I sent the script out to the Hollywood world with Frank on the cover page. And what happened was pretty amazing. Everybody loved Frank. They loved Frank and they loved his script. And I, I would get so many questions about my imaginary friend. Wasn't he the guy who worked on The Wire? And I think I know Frank and, you know, Tom Fontana, who did Homicide, right? Tom, Tom worked with Frank, right? Frank was the guy that worked with Tom. And, um, and this, is, this is my favorite, is, um, is Frank, is he, like, how is he? Like, is he open to getting script notes from you? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he is. Um, anyhow, so Frank was very well received, well respected, and people seemed to really enjoy working with him. And I'm serious, everybody, everybody likes Frank, and why wouldn't they? Uh, clearly, he has a fantastic reputation. Um, <laughs> And, and, but uh, there were good parts, too, because I really liked the idea that whenever there was a script change that someone wanted to make and I didn't want to do it, I would just say, sorry, Frank doesn't want to make that change. <laughs> so, most people I kept in the dark, but along the way I made exceptions, and I met Keegan Michael Key, and I sent him the script, and I told him that I wrote the script, and he liked it anyway. Uh, as a matter of fact, he liked it so much that he wanted to be in it. And we have since joined forces, started a production company called Detroit Pictures. And in the last few years, I have created the opportunity for myself to write and direct a number of projects that most people wouldn't imagine a woman was behind. And after years of towing the line and being treated as less than, I realized that it is possible to surround myself with colleagues who aren't concerned if I'm a woman, all that matters to them is that I am good at my job. And those people exist. And you just have to keep looking for them, keep refusing to settle, keep embracing your ambition, 
and keep speaking up when the director tells you to keep your mouth shut about the car, which, by the way, uh, the producers did later thank me for because any take with the wrong car they can't actually use in the film. <laughs> and the best part is, if the stars continue to align, uh, hopefully I will be directing my cop drama this fall in New York City. And no, Frank Saladino will no longer be credited as the writer, which, thank you. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that, but I, I have to tell you, I, I am a little sad as well, because, frankly, I hear he's a terrific guy. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you.